So guys, um, another Zelda Timeline Theory video here. Uh, now previously, in the, the very first one that I've done after we've seen Breath of the Wild debuting, um, i done a video speculating how it could pretty much exist in the unified timeline after Skyward Sword but before Ocarina of Time, basically due to the amount of damage it was done. Um, the Hyrulean Civil War going on for practically centuries, but then there's the whole era of key, era of chaos as well, which would have done a lot of damage to um, Hyrule as well. Um, but I had speculated that it would fall more into the Hyrulean Civil War area. Um, I'm actually going to do another follow-up video to that one. But we'll stick with this one first. But in that previous video, I also said that it could take place in the downfall timeline where Link is defeated by Ganon in Ocarina of Time. So that's what this video is going to be on today uh, because I started playing a previous Zelda game again today and sort of hit me at that point that it could actually be in the downfall timeline. Um, now first of all before I do that I want to show one screenshot from, there's going to be a lot of screenshots from the game, uh, but this one here stands out to me. It says, you have been asleep for the past 100 years, which means it's going to be a link we've already seen before. So it's going to be in the same vein as Ocarina of Time to Majora's Mask, same link and name, and um, Wind Waker to Phantom Hourglass, also the same link in those two. With this one, we're going to be playing as a Link that we've been before, if you've played the previous games. Um, the one after that, which is... Um, well, the screenshot I watched after that is this one here. Try, try to remember. Now, the disembodied voice is telling Link here to remember, basically, what he was doing 100 years ago, what happened 100 years ago. So this is that one as well. So this proves that it's the exact same link. I mean, they could be saying try to remember what your previous <laughs> uh, incarnation of yourself done, but with the whole sleeping for a hundred years, it's going to be the same link from a previous game. Now, what I want to move on to here now is from the very beginning of the demo that we got to see during the E3 live streams, which is here where the disembodied voice says, wake up Blink. Now, this disembodied voice obviously has some sort of link to Link, and most likely either through the technology that's there or it's a telepathic link. And there's one other game, the game that I was playing earlier, that has a tell where the um, the person has a telepathic link to Link, and that is Link to the Past, where Link is basically I wouldn't say woken up, but Zelda reaches out to him telepathically while he's sleeping. So that moves us on to a little bit further into it, and that's how I can put it into the the timeline, well not into the timeline, but this is where I make the connection between the link to the past link and the current link because we haven't really seen any other links have a telepathic connection to the princess, which makes me believe that this link has been asleep for a hundred years after the events of Link's Awakening, obviously. And something's happened that he needs to help with again. So we'll go on to this one here. This is Great Plateau, according to legend. This is the birthplace of the entire Kingdom of Hyrule. Obviously it's going to take place after Skyward Sword, so what he's talking about there is that the Great Plateau is basically Skyloft, because everyone would have spread out after that to get to where they need to be, basically. So. The Great Plateau would be Skyloft in general because Skyloft did f come down around about the same area as the Temple of Time, which you see here. 
long ago that was the site of many sacred ceremonies. I don't have a screenshot of this bit here but there is a statue from Skyward Sword inside the Temple of Time so that sort of links up a little bit where this basically is Skyloft that you fell down on. So and then uh, that person, the old man who we've basically just been talking to here says since the decline of the kingdom it now sits abandoned and in the downfall or defeated timeline there is actually an era called the, the era of decline so and that's where Zelda 1 and 2 actually take place, the era of decline where Zelda 1 Ganon is resurrected, Zelda 2 Ganon's resurrection again is stopped <coughs> So obviously, I'm putting Breath of the Wild after Zelda 2 there. So let's just see what other ones I have. Um, oh yeah, I also have this here, which should be the full timeline. Yeah, so as you can see here, I have the full timeline, links defeated, blah blah blah. So basically, from where you have a link to the past all the way up to Link's Awakening, that is the same link throughout Link to the Past, the Oracles games, and Link's Awakening. He is the toughest Link that has ever been in the games, hardest to kill. Just an all-round pain in the arse for Ganon and anyone that comes in contact with him, I suppose. So that would be the Link that would most likely be put to sleep for a hundred years, um, because he was the one that showed the most promise, I guess, and the one that was most able to actually get things done. I'll bring up a better image of this. Uh, so the decline uh, uh, the decline of Hyrule and the last hero. So as you can see at the bottom here it says the era of decline right next to the tragedy of Princess Zelda 1. Uh, Princess Zelda the first I suppose that would likely mean. So because it's the era of decline and this screenshot here literally says, move you out the way if I can get to you, <laughs> uh, since the decline of the kingdom, which would put it after that, that's pretty much where I would put this because um, Zelda 1 and then Zelda 2, the Adventure of Link, have six years between the two of them. So obviously it's not going to be that, it's going to be somewhere after that. So we don't know when Link from Link's Awakening actually get put into his deep sleep. Um, maybe it was the monarchs, as you can see, the monarchs of Hyrule used the Triforce. Maybe they put him to sleep using the Triforce. We don't know. Now, um, just having a few things go on here, I can pretty much confirm that the voice that we are hearing is Princess Zelda. Um, from the connections between Link to the Past with the whole telepathic link and then the the two images that we've seen maybe having Link saying baby basically remember and you've been asleep for a hundred years. But there's also a little bit of footage from the full game, not the full game but the demo. Um, where if you listen closely, when Princess Zelda is speaking to Link, I'm saying Princess Zelda because I can, I'm pretty sure that it is, when Princess Zelda is speaking to Link when he's on top of one of the resurrection towers looking at Hyrule Castle, you can hear Zelda's lullaby not amazingly, you have to really listen but you can hear it being played on a, on a piano, so I'll play that video for you just now and I'll shut myself up. Now then. You must hurry. Before it's too late. So, could you hear it? Yeah. I'm pretty much thinking that that is what's happening. So we'll put, for this timeline, we'll put it after uh, the Adventures of Link, which is Zelda 2. 
and yeah that's pretty much where I would put this one so we've got three timelines done now I suppose uh, I'm actually going to do two more theories on where this goes on the timeline I'm still working on the child timeline just now and yeah if it does go in there I'll find a place for it and then there's one other that I think people will find interesting so thanks very much for watching guys let me know what you think of this and what I've brought forward with it and I'll talk to you next time. Have a nice day and goodbye.